everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys I am here to do a Twin Flame Soulmate update. Okay um, this reading is for the collective it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you it's okay. Don't panic. Um, just take what resonates leave what doesn't. You guys know the drill by now right? Being on this journey if you're new here don't try to squish it into your story okay. If it doesn't fit let that part go but um yeah i want to thank everybody as well for all of their likes subscribes comments shares donations everything everybody's been absolutely fabulous we hit 23k today guys 23k <laughs> Um, and it's it's all us doing it with the divine so like I just wanted to tell you how important you are man and you know what you were never in this alone you were never in this alone right you were you were never in this alone man we've all been growing together and I'm so proud of us all yes give yourselves a pat on the back yes take a bow <laughs> right take a bow um, Okay, so anyway, uh, this channel is also for adults only. Um, so, peeps, for the last two days I've been getting it. Um, union, union, union. I'm starting to see union happening in, all, in like every reading that I do, even the readings that I'm doing off camera, okay? Um, so I'm doing a Twin Flame Soulmate <sighs> update here and I shuffle the cards and at the bottom of the deck what do I get? <laughs> Commitment! Building something solid and this seems very loving you know and this is generational wealth also when two twins, twin flames come together that's a power couple man you're, you're meant to be abundant that's it you're meant to be abundant okay because God takes care of those who do the mission work. You know, they, they, yeah, this is all about the divine. This is a divine soulmate connection. So, you know, this is about union here and building something, generational wealth and being happy and, um, and solid, a solid, firm, strong foundation that's going to last. This is a commitment. Um, this is abundance, a lot of it. Um, this is beautiful, okay? Yeah, if people would only open their mouths, <laughs> right? That's if people would only open their mouths, they could get to this. Coming closer together, building something solid. You know, everything I just stated, right? Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, or you could be a Leo. It, not necessarily though this is something that could happen around Leo season but I'm feeling unions just kind of it kind of something clicked here and the energy shifted um, and all of a sudden overnight I'm getting all these readings about people coming together so um, it's just divine timing and every single one the divine is at hand here they're they're, they're orchestrating this this whole coming together phase right um, but people need to find the strength I feel to communicate I feel like this is what takes the strength at first you know during this journey it was all about giving each other that separation to learn from um, whatever it was in your life okay the divine puts you in in certain instances so that you learn a lesson from it well so whatever it is for you you can see what you've learned and probably what they're learning because you know D divine feminine you really haven't been in your person's business you let go they turned your back on them and you let go to work on yourself and build on yourself. You took the time for you. Your, your masculine had to take the time for them too. You both had lessons to learn. You both had to grow so that you could come together properly. So usually during this journey, this whole time, the strength has been in, in the separation, right? And, um, and maybe being quiet and and working on your own stuff and not you know focusing on the other per that kind of thing you know what I mean the strength has been in building you but now I see that 
the real strength now at this phase is going to be in opening your mouth and communicating okay so in order to get this union in order to get this firm solid foundation going in order to get this commitment this um, abundance together together somebody's got to speak somebody's got to take the first step and pry their mouths open and speak and that's where the true strength comes in in this phase in this phase of the journey okay in order to get their happiness somebody needs to take the blindfold off uh, make a decision speak the truth this has to end this stagnancy it's got to end it's got to end somebody needs to communicate here and they need to communicate properly properly because see you know your worth you've known the whole time divine feminine that um, you are the one that brings the most abundance even though you're the option that this person had that they tried to cover up with a sheet okay and you're like you need to approach me correctly with the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth or I'm going to take this sword that I pulled out of my back right and healed from myself I'm going to take this sword you gave me and um, I'm going to cut you out of my world without batting an eyelash. The whole dealio is that this person needs to communicate. They need to communicate. I feel like this person's been watching you from the shadows. They may have had other options around them. They may have tried to find you and other people. But now they're realizing that you're the one who who creates your own abundance you're the one who's glowing and shining here and but now you're the one who also knows your worth um, and the stagnancy needs to end communication needs to be had and if there's a choice to make in love here or how to communicate that choice needs to be made as well in order to get this happiness, people need to communicate. But they need to communicate with the truth. The truth needs to be spoken. That's my cat playing with... Uh, I give my cat a playpen. It's just a cardboard box. He absolutely loves it. He's playing with a little toy that I have hanging out of his playpen. So you'll hear my cat, okay? Um, anyway, yes, my cat has a playpen. He goes on walks. He's very spoiled, very, very spoiled. Um, anyway, you're in this Queen of Wands energy where you're not going to waste your time on games. That's why you need for people to communicate with you properly here. Um, yeah, you're, you're focused on your happiness and going after what you want with a passion. Um, and you're just you're not going to you're not going to be toyed with is what i'm feeling like here yeah look what's on the bottom here a reunitement card that i always say reunitement i know i know it's union reunion i say reunitement <laughs> that's what i say i've been picked on about that before and i just kind of gave up trying to change it <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I say reunitement. Um, but yeah, this is two people coming together, happy, you know, bonding, building something solid. This is a marriage, a commitment card, you know. feel like somebody's out in the cold, though. Communication needs to be had. Somebody needs to speak their truth. And someone needs to be willing to listen. But you know what? This could, like I said, this could be a power couple. Queen and King of Wands. There's the match right there. I feel like you're both looking at each other here. Thinking about this reunion. That's, it's happening. Reunitement. I have to say it. I try. <laughs> I try, but I can't. Yeah, you're both looking at this. You both know that you're each other's passion. You both know that this could make you both very happy. But somebody needs to find the strength to speak. 
You know, you. I feel like Divine Feminine, you've been waiting for somebody to come towards you with clarity and truth. And as of yet, you haven't gotten that. It's been completely stagnant. I feel like you both have, have things you need to say to each other. You know? And I feel like you're both a match here and you're both focused on this reunion it's like everybody knows it's time everyone knows it's time yeah look coming back together here this is your person from your past um, they're remembering a time when those cups of love, they, all of these cups were filled with something that was blossoming, blooming. This could have been something new. This person offered you this cup of love before and then they turn their back on this soulmate connection. And they can't stop thinking about you. I think you're thinking about them too maybe at this time. But I feel like, I feel like it's your person here. Thinking back on a time when they had you right there, you know? They had you right there. And I feel like they turned their back on this new beginning in love here. They can't stop thinking about it. Somebody's feeling very nostalgic. The divine is, look, the divine says it's time. This is a past life um, soulmate connection. Whether you've known this person since childhood or whether you have children with this, with this person, um, you guys have known each other before. You hear my stomach growling? You're hungry for each other. It's like your souls, you know? Because it's a divine connection. My stomach just keeps growling. I don't feel hungry. That's the weird part. Um, but yeah, with the higher font out here, the higher font, and with judgment here, it's time. Do 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 do. Did you hear that? That's my stomach. <laughs> I don't know why my stomach is growling. That's the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, I feel like someone right now is currently strategically thinking about what, how they're going to communicate. Um, they need to find that strength in order to get this happiness. They need to find the strength to open their mouths and speak, speak their truth, make a decision, cut something out. Oh my gosh, I might have to pause the tape if my, or the recording if my stomach doesn't start, stop growling. It's really loud too. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't feel hungry. That's the weirdest part. Yeah, I feel like this your person has been working on something um, and investing their time and energy and and trying to build something that they're unable to harvest anything from that might be you that could be your person but you know this card has that that um, subtle energy of should this person stick around and keep trying to work on this or should they pick up this one pentacle here and have a new beginning and the divine is telling them it's time to have a new beginning because they, they they won't be able to reap this harvest they've been working on it too long and they they know that they're slumped over i think this i think your person is they they feel sad at all the time and effort and energy they put into something that they're is not going to work but i feel like this person is going to pick up this pentacle and run with it okay um, yeah, it's time to, it's time to move away from the things that aren't giving you anything back. Does that make sense? It's time to get away from the things that aren't giving you anything back, you know, and have a new beginning, a new beginning. Yeah, with the, with the real past life soulmate here, a twin flame. Yeah, what's the possible outcome here? This is beautiful because I really think you, you um, this is the beginning stage of union. It is. Yes, what did I say? This person's going to reach out 
Now, whenever I see this depiction, okay, and it's literally the only, the only card that does it for me, okay, in all of my decks, whenever I see this depiction, I, I can really feel the gentleness coming off of this masculine. I can really, you see, you're standing your ground. It's them that's moving forward. You notice that? You are standing your ground, Divine Feminine. It's them that's moving forward and they come at you very gently and I always get the image of somebody reaching out to try to touch um, a wild deer in the woods. You know what I mean? Like they don't want you to scamper away, right? So they're coming in very gently, very slowly, but they're the ones moving forward and they gently reach out to you because they want that love, that two of cups that they they had before, but they turned their back. This was a brand new beginning you guys had, and they turned their back on it pretty quickly, I feel. And they want it now. They want this two of cups. It's been a long time since you've seen this person, maybe. But they're coming forward. They're coming forward. Yes, because there it is. Oh, I just got the chills. Because it's time. I, this is the divine soulmate connection, okay? This is it. The lover's card. The twin flame card. Um, you, divine feminine, have been watching the divine very closely. Being guided by the divine. You've only been paying attention to spirit, okay? Your person is probably losing a lot of sleep because look at how dark and sunk in their eyes are. Okay, so they're losing a lot of sleep. But all they're doing is focusing on you. You're beautiful, stunning to this person. They, they can't get you off of their mind. They know what this connection feels like. Okay, I don't know if they know all of the details behind the Twin Flame Soulmate Connection because your Divine Masculine they've been kind of a, a few steps behind you, right? Um, but now they're realizing and the divine here, the spirit is up here kind of going like this, like, come on now, it's time to get together, sort of rounding you up, see, kind of getting you guys together um, because it's time. This is divine timing. Look, it's divine timing. It's just that Somebody needs to find the, the strength to speak. But your person's coming. Look, union, yeah, and communication here with the King of Swords. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, a Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Leo twice, um, a, a, any fire sign. It could honestly be anyone. We've got Earth here too. Virgo. Libra. And here's your justice. The scales will be balanced. Communication and clarity is going to be had in this situation. Someone's going to find the strength to move forward. And I really feel like it's the Divine Masculine. Honestly, Divine Feminine. That's the one who's walking forward reaching out to try to touch that love again. It's, it's happening here. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've gotten, I've gotten um, union readings pretty much straight for the last like two days. Um, yeah, this is another union here, guys. It's, it's, uh, seriously, watch the videos, man. And honestly, it's not just me. It's others, too. It's other readers, too. We're all starting to pick up on this energy. And it was really like a big woof. I mean, seriously, it just kind of was there all of a sudden. It's divine timing. I'm telling you, this is all part of the divine plan. They're involved. This is... This is them orchestrating. This is them um, intervening in the situation, bringing you guys together with their, their fancy divine mojo, okay?
Yeah, and justice is here. It's it's coming. It's coming. Oh, okay, guys. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick take this into the extended. Um, I'm gonna do an extended on this and kind of get a feel for the conversation, maybe a little bit. And I may even post another video uh, later today um, for like a a bigger kind of conversation thing. I want to see what's going to go down, right? What is going to go down? How is this going to go down? <laughs> So anyway, um, this is beautiful though, guys. And if you're interested in the extended, feel free to join me over on Patreon. There's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box. Um, and you know, if you like this video, if you like what's happening here, claim this manifestation as your own, right? Um, and if you like the video, go ahead, give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already joined the family. But this is amazing and I'm gonna keep it rolling today. Um, I'm gonna try to pick up on as many unions as I can, you know? So um, yeah, the energy is starting to rock and roll now, babies, and we're on it. And um, have a great day. Take care of you and peace out.